Hey everybody, this is Mark and welcome back to another episode of Tech Then vs. Neil. And in this episode, we are going to be talking about video cameras. So we've talked about cameras in previous episodes as well as videos and how they were recorded on these cameras. But we've never actually talked about how um, cameras have actually evolved that were meant for recording video specifically. Today, many DSLRs, in fact, even this one that we're recording on, shoots video and really good video at that. So things like camcorders are kind of going out of style, but there are still ones that are around, mainly more for professional use. So I guess you can call this more of a professional type of episode where we're talking about professional products, but there's also consumer grade camcorders, but you really don't see consumer camcorders anymore because they're all in DSLRs, point and shoot cameras, and even smartphones. So first I wanna talk about kind of the size of them. This is our oldest camcorder that we have right here. And it is the only one that actually shoots on physical tapes. So you actually had to have kind of a cassette tape thing that goes into the side right here. And that is what your recording format was. Now we're using things like SD cards and everything, the rest of the cameras that we have right here do record onto an SD card or internal memory. So this is our only camera that we have that uses um, a actual tape, which is kind of interesting. So the size of them was actually quite big. They were fairly large and chunky. And while this may look pretty high end, this is actually a consumer camcorder. Um, we went from that giant camera to now being able to shoot the same type of video and this sort of thing right here. We have 60 times optical zoom, so crazy long zoom, a flip out screen that rotates. We have our normal camcorder functions and a much smaller package. Now, this is our big, very expensive professional camcorder. This shoots 4K and this is meant for professionals, not consumers, which is why it's a little bit bigger, but we do get things like a top handle and XLR ports for a shotgun microphone or anything else that we may want to plug in here. It has all the same features like a flip out screen that rotates both ways, really long optical zoom in a bunch of those features. And one thing we talked about in our last episode about videos, I think that was like episode three or four, was about the quality. So we've been going up and up in quality and also down in size. So for this camera that was recorded in um, actual tapes, I don't think it actually had a quality. This camera right here shot in beautiful 480p that looked really great at the time. And it was even 16 by nine, no four by three aspect ratio. And then we were able to get this size down even smaller into this, which is the flip. They're no longer around probably because their cameras sucked, but this was another 480p camera. It used internal memory. So you had to plug it into your computer that way, but it was kind of cool. It had a tiny screen, capacitive keys. So nothing actually clicked except for the record button. And this too could record in 480p. Now we've gone up and we're in HD. And then now we have 4K, that is kind of the highest quality you can get out of a decently priced camera. If you want anything higher than 4K, you have to go into the tens of thousands of dollars. Um, this camcorder right here costs around, like all put together, around $4,000, and this one's about two. So it's not cheap to get good quality video, but um, we're finally getting something decent out of a camcorder for the longest time. I absolutely hated this camera just because it was so automatic. I wanted more manual control. And that was really something you couldn't get from camcorders. If you wanted manual focus or anything else, like a dial for aperture, you had to have a DSLR. Where now our really expensive camcorder here has two rings and both can be adjusted for whatever you want. So there you have, we have lots of changes in the style of the camera. Sizes have been going down, but also so is popularity. So you don't really see much of camcorders. They're more used in the professional market, like what we do, 
For an all-in-one solution, there's been tons of advances. They're way better, the quality is better, and we're getting DSLR features like multiple rings for zoom and focus and aperture and all of that sort of stuff. But there you have it. That is it for this episode of Tech Thin vs. Neo. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. This is Mark with IOP Tech One Tweet, and I'll see you in the next one.